Ladies and gentlemen, now with today's update, we've got the release of the Hawks Treasure Hunt event on Global, and I want to share with you a tip from the Japanese version that literally makes this 10 times easier. So you'll notice to move throughout this event, you can use your uh, mining axes that you get via doing free stages on a daily basis, and you've got the ability to use up to six to slow down the wheel. Now, most of you going in, you're going to see this man, like you cannot see absolutely anything on one, but even if you slow slow it down and use the um uh, the full six mining picks here then yeah it's still very very hard to land on exactly how many moves you want to go for but there is a way to slow it down by an incredible amount because it also scales up and down uh, depending on your play speed so I'm going to show you a quick trick in the settings if you switch it from ultra to slow it also slows down the real man and we actually got super super lucky I think on that first move there and we also get the um uh, what is it? Bonus selector here. However, actually, I can't... <laughs> Dude, I wish I had uh, changed it beforehand. Okay, we need uh, an odd number here. Just need to hope we're lucky. Okay, we got one. And we are getting a choice of three gems or one pendant. However, again, this is very, very important. You should uh, not go into this event without first changing your settings. And if you want to wait like a week or a few days and do this all in one so you don't have to go like back and forth every single day, that might be a little bit of a better idea. So we're going to change the play speed to low. And that's going to slow down the... Um, uh, the spinner by about five times in comparison. So if we go back into the event now, it is so much easier to control. So if we have a look at, uh, what is it, just having one, it's almost the same as having like five or six on ultra speed. But if you go for the full six, then it really slows it down. So you've almost got full control of exactly how many spaces you want to move. And this is so important when it comes to some of the later stages, because it gives you some really good control over for where you go and what rewards you get obviously there still is an element of like reacting and responding to it very quickly as well uh so yeah just something to keep in mind there but let's have a um uh, a bit of a look at the map where do we want to go man really just as far as we possibly can here so i think we're gonna go uh just for one and we're just gonna stop it wherever we can here again when that six is i think toward the bottom is where you want to go if you've just got one and yeah that's perfect man we didn't need to land on this there so just as many moves as possible. And then like looking forward as well. Okay, if we go one, two, three, four, five, then we can hit this track. And then we go down this, get all the demon materials. So yeah, we want to roll a five here. So yeah, hopefully we can do it, man. This event, it can be like a little bit frustrating if you do um uh do miss here. Let's stop on five, perfect. Let's go for it, lads. Come on. We're going to hit the track. If you get the star, then you get boosted forward and get all the rewards. So hidden path. We switch lanes. And then we boost forward. Get all of those rewards there. So that was really, really good, man. So again, this event is actually really decent. But it does require like a level of... um. Uh, what is it? Skill and control involved in it as well? <laughs> so, uh, where would we ideally like to go? Okay, one, two, three, four. If we can get four, we go down here, we get all of this stuff, and then we're over here. And I think that's the best case scenario right now. So yeah, four is, uh, is what we're looking for here. So if we go down... Perfect, man. We got it. Again, it's so easy to control if you use the full, like, six picks and have got it slower. And then you've got, um, uh, you know, control over your movement. And you do get 40 of these, um, uh, what is it, tokens every single day uh, for the next two weeks. So, yeah, it's a really, really considerable amount. And you can also buy uh, some more in the store if you are running a little bit low. Uh, but it's kind of up to you, you know. Um, you have like six of these mines to completely clear out. Uh, but if you're playing like very carefully, I think, do we need to land exactly on that? Or can we just go over it? I think for this one, we can just go over it there. I think anyway, let's test it out. So uh, let's assume going over it, we get the rewards there. And this one, um, all select movement. I forgot exactly how the select movement one works, actually. Hmm. Might not be too bad. We actually didn't get the, the special, I think, going over that one. So, yeah, I really want these, man. So, I think we actually go for a roll of two here. I think that would be the best case scenario. 
You can maybe like, you know, if, if you want to make it a bit more risky and save some rewards, you can uh, speed it up a little bit. But obviously, if you don't land on the right one, it's definitely going to backfire a little bit here. But I think we need to land on this one. Okay, nice. We got three UR stones there. And then next up, we want to go for two. And then we can go down this track here. And then, yeah, dude, that's really, really nice. A three times bonus on that. Special chest of um, a Super Awakening coin there. So, yeah, I think we want to go for that. I'm just trying to think, do we need to actually, like, land on the spaces? I think we, if it's special, I think you need to land on it. But, um, I'll, I'll test, I'll do a little bit of testing on my whale account as well, just so we can see in comparison. But let's go for, um, two here, I think, is what we want. I, and again, you can take, like, a, a couple of days to clear every single mine, because there are six total. Okay, so we go straight to this one. And then I think, <laughs> okay, so we need to get a three or lower, and do with the slowed down version, so easy to do, man, so easy to do. So yeah, that's uh, that's really good. I think we we definitely want either the Super Awakening coin or engraving stones there. So let's go for the Treasure Hunt Spin Wheel. And we want to land on a, a one here, so let's go for it. Perfect, mate. We can move one space forward. Not doing too bad. I've yet to massively mess up yet. So get the number one. So I actually need the number one. Okay, we smashed it, boys. Do I get both Super Awakening Coin or Engraving Stones? Oh, what I need more of. I think it's the Super Awakening Coin on my free-to-play, man. It's always, like, so much stuff to Super Awaken. Okay, that's 20 anvils there, if I can land on that one. Um, so, yeah, I think we just go for one here. And again, i still got, like, plenty of time to, like, finish this off as well. And the thing is, um, because those aren't a special mission, we can just uh, skim past that. However, I do need to land on an even number. That was a bit too close to a one there, man. But we did it. We got the 20 anvils. So, again, it's just going to make it so much easier. Um, but I think one thing we can do here is... I think if we just bomb it down, man, we, sh we should be all right. Let's, like, go for... Because um, as soon as we pass over these anvils... Um, we should be good. So we're just going to go for like the max roll possible as soon as that's six. Oh no, that was that was not the max roll possible there. Again, going on one, it's like very hard to control sometimes. Okay, five. I'll take a five. Actually, does that put me on the bomb? Oh, dude, we chilling. We pick up the ten anvils. We did it. <laughs> we cleared the first mine day one. And we got all the good stuff. So I'm very happy about that, man. So yeah, you also have the option as well to start over, but you don't want to do that, especially if you're going into a um, uh, mine with dead rewards as well. And have a look at um, kind of the second one as well, because as you progress, there's some really, really good stuff. So you want to make sure that you're playing this on slow, or else you could literally be missing out on like part one, part two SSR tickets. I think there's part two a little bit deeper, at least to the best of my memory, because yeah, there's a part one down there. We got uh, 30 anvils, um, uh, right hand side here as well so yeah there's uh, a lot of good stuff knocking about man but again you know like it's so worth just putting your settings on slow because it's going to make it so much easier to kind of manage and like take advantage of this event so yeah i probably should have brought up the rules a little bit earlier so it does clarify that special rewards can only be acquired if you land on that exact space whereas normal rewards so anything that doesn't have special wonder uh you can get as long as you just pass over it so it's special stuff you do need to land on that exact spot there uh so yeah be very very careful with your kind of choices and decisions in this event um but also again this is like a bit of a guide to it if you are stuck it's a really good reference point so you've got normal rewards multiplier rewards as well that's kind of um uh, what we saw earlier were like the four times anvils, the selected rewards, the random rewards as well. And it seems like a lot of these are usually linked into a mini game where you've got to stop on like a certain uh, number or like an odd number, even number, higher than three, lower than three, you know, something like that in comparison. Uh, you've also got the special movement one, which you can move to a desired place as well. So I don't know exactly how that functions, but I think that could be quite good in combo with certain stuff there for reaching a little bit further. 
further. And also the Superstar, which we um, showcased earlier, allows you to charge forward and kind of get everything in that path as well. The bomb explodes and pushes you back, I believe, um, two spaces there. And the hidden path, if you land on it, allows you to... Um, uh, you know, access an additional path there. So to be honest, man, I think it's like quite a fun additional mini event to play. And the rewards for it are really, really good for a side event. But you've got to earn them, man. Like, you've got to play this event like very, very smart or else you're going to get absolutely wrecked. Um, or, you know, if you're really, really lucky with those one spins, man, you might be able to do it. But, you know, just kind of calculate carefully and make sure that you go to settings and put that slow mode on or else you could literally be missing out on... um. Uh, you know, not only landing on all the good spaces, but when you do land on those spaces as well, actually getting the rewards. Because as we saw, like, you know, playing those games on the high stakes spaces, man, is going to help you out so much if you've got the play speed on low. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed today's tip video. And if you did, please do smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciate it. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.